I'm gonna show you how you can easily add your B-roll footage on top of your YouTube videos using a free app called Video Leap. And if you're not sure exactly what B-roll is, I'm gonna link a video that I made previously explaining what B-roll is and how you can use it. I'm gonna to link to that down in the description below, so make sure you check that out. But to give you a very quick example of what B-roll is, let's say I'm talking to you about a particular microphone right now, and while I'm talking to you, talking about the specs of the microphone and what it can do, I'm also showing a clip on top of this video so you don't see me, you see a clip clip or a photograph of the actual microphone that I'm talking about. That would be B-roll. There's a lot of different ways that you can use B-roll and in that video that I'm linking down below, I get into some of that. So make sure you check that out. I'm also putting a link to Video Leap in the description as well and in the pinned comment. So if you don't have it yet, go ahead and install it. You can put it in for free. Now open up your phone, open up Video Leap and let me show you how to add B-roll to your video. When you first open up Video Leap, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna grab the videos that you wanna work with. And in order to do that, you're gonna tap on the big plus icon right here, and then go in and choose the videos that you wanna work with. I'm gonna choose these two, and then I'm gonna to add to project. Video Leap is gonna add those clips onto your timeline, and you're gonna see that it's adding them one right after the other. So the clip that I wanna use as B-roll is now behind my main clip. But what I wanna do is I wanna put that clip on top of my other clip. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna figure out where that clip is gonna go. So I'm gonna spread this out and I'm gonna scrub along to the point where I want this clip to actually go. So I need to press play and listen to the actual audio clip. Tell a story. So if I'm going to talk about a microphone and that's what we're gonna do right now, let's talk about it. Okay, so this is the part where I'm gonna talk about a microphone. So what I wanna do at that point is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna press on the clip that I wanna move. I'm gonna bring it up and over and I'm pressing and holding the entire time and I'm gonna drop it right on top of my other clip. And then I'm gonna start experimenting and moving it around in different places until I get it exactly where I want it to be. Phone and how you might need a dongle to use it and I talk about the specs. And to move it either left or right, I'm gonna simply tap on it and I'm gonna press and hold and move it back and forth until I find the right place for it. to use it and I talk about the specs, I'm gonna take that video clip. Okay, so I've got it in the right place. Now, if your other clip has audio and you wanna get rid of the audio, you have two choices here. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna tap on this reverse teardrop looking icon right here. That's the actual clip. And if you go down to the bottom and you scroll to the right, you're gonna see an audio icon. Tap on that audio icon. At this point, you have audio control options. You have the option to lower the volume so it blends in more with your track that's underneath it, or you can completely remove it. You can also tap mute or unmute to completely get rid of it. You can change the pitch. It also has an adjust feature, so if you wanna play with the EQ a little bit to make it sound a certain way, you can do that. Or you can go all the way to the far right and you can tap on unlink, and now it's gonna separate the audio clip completely. So now I can tap on that and I can move it out of the way. I can move it to a different part of the clip or I can drag it and drop it down to the trash can down below and it's gonna delete the audio clip. Now you do this to your entire video and you can continue to tap on this plus icon to add more clips and B-roll clips as you want and just move them around to where they make sense. When you're ready to export, go up to the top right hand corner, tap on export, choose the settings that you want, crank that up to 1080p or 4K, whatever it is that you're working with and be sure to match the frame rate. So if you're recording in 24 frames per second, adjust the frame rate to 24 frames per second or if you're recording in 30 frames per second and so on. Once you're ready, go over to photos, tap on photos and it's gonna export your project. Now that was just a very simple example of how to use B-roll. And of course you don't have to use B-roll at all. Don't think you have to. It's just a tool that we have at our disposal to make us better communicators and better storytellers. You decide how much B-roll that you get to use. You get to decide when to use it or if you're not gonna use it. That's entirely up to you. That is a creative choice. But the main takeaway is use it to help you tell your story. If you wanna learn more about making content with your phone or you wanna learn how to be a mobile YouTuber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.